Past few days I've been getting some work done in the blueberry patch, and I just wanted to show you guys what we've done. Got to get the cats out here. <laughs> See? See, the cats got to go do their job on the farm. Let's just walk down to the barn and check on these new piglets. <laughs> but yeah, this blueberry patch, this year I wanted to continue perfecting it, maybe turning it into the absolute ultimate blueberry patch we could ever think of here at the farm. Now we bought this property three years ago exactly this month. And the very first year, 2020, we started this blueberry patch. I sourced the plants, we planted them, but it was a disaster. The whole thing was filled with weeds. So the following year, we basically covered all of the soil with a landscape fabric and began covering the fabric with wood chips. We also added a few more blueberry bushes to the mix. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're all still alive. They're all doing good. Billy, you just kicked that one out of the way. Okay, Billy. You're doing a good job, Mama. You're doing a really good job. I'm proud to report all the eight piglets are all doing amazing. They're actually running around, which is cool. They're playing with each other, which is extra cool. <laughs> it's only been like, I don't know, four days, I think, three days or four days that I'm filming this video. <laughs> and these piglets are so cool. So let me just take you back a couple days ago when we started this little project. First thing I had to do was unbury all of these cedar rails that I had saved. Then we marked out the lines and put these posts. And of course it's a very tiring job to manually hammer in the posts with a sledgehammer. So I'm using a gas powered post driver. It's kind of like a pile driver and it just makes life a whole lot easier. This tool right here is pretty heavy probably weighs about 40 pounds. It's got a big huge tube on the end and a gas engine. And basically it's my own personal pile driver. And it allows me to put these T-posts in the ground without much effort at all. It takes me five to 10 seconds per post. And it's awesome because my fatigue is gonna set in and this saves my fatigue. Now keep in mind, this is just a decorative fencing. I found all of these old cedar rail type pieces of wood all through the forest. They were probably a fence at one time. But that's probably a hundred years ago. So all I'm gonna do is use these T-posts and then put one of the posts up against it, maybe tie it with some wire, and that'll make it look like an antique fence. I'm not going through the bother of cementing posts in holes, making the holes, all that effort. That's way too much work. 
but this is definitely going to keep the dogs, maybe some wildlife, and it's going to make the blueberry patch look friggin' awesome. See, a lot of these have a nice groove up the center here. It's kind of like a little hole. So what I've been doing is cheating a little bit and just putting this right over top, like it's almost like a perfect fitting. Those old looking rustic cedar rails, you know, they look really good. I really like them and they fit with the overall rustic vibe here at the farm. That's enough fencing. We're just going to take a blueberry break for a minute and collect all of the blueberries that are ripe. My Darden has a wicked awesome little container from some blueberries that we bought before, but we saved the little containers, you know? These are high bush blueberries, so we left a total of six feet in between the rows. Blueberries do require cross-pollination, so you'll need more than one variety. We have a few different varieties in this patch here. Blue Crop, Duke, Northern are just some to name. Mm. The high bush varieties tend to be really cold tolerant for our Zone 5B. I can see some blueberry pancakes in our future. These bushes should get four to five feet tall and three to four feet wide. You okay? You keep me company? Let's go. Olive, Maggie, let's go. Let's go, guys. I can't believe how big some of these are. This is so awesome. And they're so sweet, you know? When you pick them right off the bush like that, or at least in our case anyway, it's very sweet. Not like when you get them in the grocery store, you know, sometimes they're a little bit tart, a little bit sour, but these are sweet. All together now, the final tally is 40 blueberry bushes. There are three different varieties to encourage cross-pollination as well. It's been a long while now. I've been trying to get up enough wood chips to cover all of the landscape fabric, but as you can see, it's pretty well keeping it weed-free. So now today we're just here kind of finishing off the front here. We're going to have a little gate. I had an extra antique gate <laughs> right there over by the barn and I'm going to use that to make it look super cool, old and rustic. We drilled in some holes for the gate posts so that I could sink these long posts into the ground deep. That way they'll give a little bit more structure for when the gate is swinging. I don't know about you guys, but I think this looks pretty sick. <laughs> Rustic, old world, cedar rails. <laughs> you can't get anything older than this, man. It's so cool to be able to reuse and repurpose a lot of this stuff. You know where I found all these rails? All in the forest. I think at one time in history, literally, they must have had fences for the livestock or whatever, or property lines. And this is the type of fence that they used. It's crazy. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video of this ultimate blueberry patch here, folks. And I really do appreciate you watching. Hopefully you had fun watching me sweat and work my butt off in the sun. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next episode.